This is a phenomenal program because it's basically getting you into your home prematurely, okay, before you're even really credit worthy. Welcome back, beautiful people. It's your girl, Shai Bivia, and you are listening to the Legally Clueless Entrepreneurs Podcast. If you are listening on your favorite podcast platform, don't forget to download, like, and share this episode, okay? And if you are watching on YouTube, thanks for stopping by and hitting that play button. But before we go any further, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? That way, whenever I post a new video, you will be the first to know. And trust me, you don't want to miss out on any of my gems, okay? that I like to share, all right? But I'm super, super excited about today's episode because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how you, okay, can basically get your dream home or live in your dream home without having to pay an arm and a leg, without having to have the perfect credit score, without having to have a whole bunch of money in your bank account, okay? So keep watching. Okay, so the program that I want to talk to you guys about today is Divi Homes, okay? You may or may not have heard of Divi Homes. It's a little bit newer. It probably just came about maybe uh, just a few years ago, right? But it's somewhat of, you may have heard of this term before, somewhat of like a lease to own type of situation. But this, you guys, is a lot more, it's probably the most practical program or practical lease to own program that I've ever heard of, okay? Basically, what Divi does is they pre-qualify you, right? You first complete an application, right? It takes about five minutes, and this actually does not impact your credit score, okay? Once you have a 550 credit score or higher, okay? You guys, your credit score can be as low as 550, okay? Once you are pre-approved, right they give you an amount based on the information that you input into the system so for example your earnings right the amount that you make they just basically want to see at least like three months of consistent income right whether you're self-employed right so unlike the traditional route with going through a mortgage company with having to see tax returns and stuff like that if you're self-employed divi only wants to see a consistent income coming in for at least about like three months right with divi you have to have a minimum gross monthly income of at least twenty four hundred dollars right so once you're able to prove that uh, once you have a 550 credit score uh, once you have as well as two thousand dollars in the bank so just they just want to see that you have at least two thousand dollars reserves in the bank right then you're pre-approved right once you're pre-approved what this means means is you then go out with an agent just as if you are going to purchase your home right then you go out you um, look for the home all right I'm gonna go over the criteria as well with the home okay you get approved for a certain budget right and then you can go home shopping right so for example for instance you're approved for three hundred thousand you'll go out with your realtors and I want to say this as well there's a lot of realtors today who are familiar with the Divi program okay especially for the those metro areas that Divi does this type of program right because there's only a select areas that Divi does this type of program which I will get into as well in a bit. But there's a lot of realtors that are very familiar with this process and familiar with Divi. You can either ask your, your realtor if they're familiar with it, or if not, it's really the same process, okay? The Divi works in six simple steps, okay? For one, you complete an application online, okay? Number two is you get approved for a budget, okay? Step number three is you partner with an agent, right? You find a real estate agent and you shop for your dream home. Step number four is that Divi pays for the home. Divi pays for the home cash, okay? They're buying the home all out cash. And what's great about this is your offer is a lot more competitive. So unlike going through a traditional mortgage process, you know, where payments have to be processed, and checks and all of that good stuff. Divi is basically just paying for the home cash, wiring the money, and you know, that's it. They take care of the closing cost, the insurance, the maintenance of the home, all of that, Divi takes care of that. The only thing that Divi needs from you is one to 2% down payment, okay? For instance, the home is 300,000, okay? You're either going to pay between three to six thousand dollars okay step number five is that you move in and save so every payment that you pay towards divi right for the rent your rent will be based on the rental market of that area okay a portion of that goes towards your rent and then another portion 25 percent goes towards your mortgage savings okay so 75 percent is going towards your rent 
and then the other 25 percent is going towards like your equity savings account when it's time for you to buy that home outright okay and i'm gonna go a little bit further into this in just a bit step number six you either buy the home back from divi within three years or you walk away okay so yes you do have the option to walk away and you may be asking what happens you know if you walk away what about the 25 percent that i've been saving over the past you know one to three years okay what happens is you get back majority of that but divi does take a percentage back of that to relist it on the market because they then have to pay to relist it on the market so this is only if you choose to walk away from the home after three years um, and not purchase the home back from Divi, okay? But if you don't walk away and you choose to purchase the home, everything that you have saved okay over the that three year period or less that then goes towards your closing towards buying this home okay so this is a phenomenal program because it's basically get you into your home prematurely okay before you're even really credit worthy okay and really uh, eligible for a home it's getting you into your home early basically forcing you to save okay so if you honestly this program is really for people who aren't credit worthy at the time and you feel like you absolutely need to move into a home now you don't want to continue with renting or living in an apartment and um, you just feel like having a home right now is the best thing or the best situation for you especially if you're thinking of probably expanding your family or you are expecting right and you know your studio apartment or your one bedroom apartment is just not going to do it and you have been working on your credit and it's just not up to par you know where you want it to be Divi may be a great program for you, okay? Now, in my opinion, if you have, let's say, a 680 and higher credit score, your best bet is might as well just go ahead and do an FHA loan, right? Just go the traditional route and get that first time home buyers program and just, you know, be able to acquire your mortgage right then and there right but like i said this is for people who you feel like you need your home right now you prefer to be in a home versus living in an apartment and you get three years okay you get three years to build and to work on your credit and to buy this dream home that you already have been living in okay so it's a great it's a win-win situation for everybody okay how does divi make money divi makes money from the equity build up in the property okay and they also make money from your rental payments okay so for example you think of a traditional landlord okay they have a home they're only paying let's say a thousand dollars for the mortgage right but they charge you the tenant fifteen hundred dollars okay they're making a five hundred dollars okay from you the tenant the same thing from divi um first of all they're they're pay purchasing the home uh, cash okay so there's no mortgage payment for them and even if they did acquire a mortgage the amount that they're charging you as the tenant for rent is again based on the rental market value so just keep that in mind that it will be a little bit higher okay than what you would be paying if you actually owned the home in addition to that you will also be paying an additional percentage for the savings okay for your equity savings that will then go towards your closing in three years or less now before i go any further i know a lot of you may have questions so feel free to pause this video okay and comment the questions that you have questions are comments okay that you may have in the comment section below okay i'm gonna go over real quick I have my uh, my notepad here because I don't want to forget anything, but I'm going to go over real quick the markets that Divi is available in, okay? It's not available everywhere, okay? But these are the metro areas that Divi is available in. So if you're in the Cleveland area, Memphis, St. Louis, Cincinnati, San Antonio, uh, Texas, Houston, Texas, Atlanta, okay? Um, Jacksonville, Tampa, Dallas, Minneapolis, Orlando, Phoenix, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and Denver. Um, now, with these metro areas, they all have a different price range so for example for cleveland um i also i'll also share my screen so that you can see as well but for like cleveland uh memphis and st louis uh the price range is it has to be minimum sixty thousand to like 300k okay uh like san antonio 
minimum 120 to like 325k okay and that is at this time of this video things may change you know in a year or two or in a few months right if you're in orlando it's minimum 150 to 400k the highest they go up to is 550k and that's only in denver so denver you're looking at a minimum of 150 to 550k okay so that's the max that you can um that you could be approved for and the minimum is 150 so i mean if you live in these areas it may be a great you know fit or a great opportunity for you you know if you've been really wanting to just get into your dream home but you know there's things that you're working on and you're just not able to you're not eligible okay for a traditional mortgage this may be a great opportunity for you um, now I have to go over the types of homes though okay that that is eligible for the Divi program because not all homes are qualified, all right, for the Divi program. So if it's single family homes, single family and townhomes, okay, are eligible for Divi. The home's deed must be free simple, includes land ownership, okay, just, just simple, all right. New construction, okay, is eligible, all right, but the new construction though, it has to be done within 90 days. So it has to be set to be completed within 90 days, okay? And they have to have the confirmation status, okay? Confirmation of the building status from the actual builder, all right? Thing to note though, with new construction, Divi will ask for the entire deposit that the builder requires. So typically between 1,000 to like 10,000, okay? So that's another thing to consider. Now with the size of the home, so there are no limits with the size of the home, the restrictions on the square footage or anything like that, but there is uh, an acreage restriction, which is up to two acres of land. So the max that you can do is up to two acres of land, okay? Now, these are the types of homes or the condition that Divi will not um, approve. Uh, it can't be sold as fixer upper, wholesale deals, stuff like that, short sales, bank owned, bank owned, county owned, uh, anything like that, not habitable. These homes will not be approved for Divi, okay? So that's another thing that you wanna keep in mind. It has to be basically moving ready, okay? Market ready, moving ready. Condos, foreclosures, pre foreclosures, short sales, like I said before, bank, bank owned, Fannie and Freddie owned, um, assignee contracts, so from wholesalers, I said that before, manufactured or mobile homes as well aren't eligible for the Davy program. Homes without central air conditioning and HVAC, okay, especially in like Texas, Arizona, Florida, uh, Georgia, and Tennessee, okay, because, you know, those areas can get really hot, extremely hot. Um, so if it does not have air conditioning HVAC, it won't be eligible for the program. So if you want more details and information of, you know, uh, the eligibility of the home and all of that, just go to help dot divihomes.com okay that's help dot divihomes.com and you'll be able to get all the eligibility okay for the divi home program okay so honestly i mean if you ask me i think that um it's not a bad program at all again if you have a really great credit score you have some money in the bank again you might as well just go the traditional route whether an fha loan a va loan you know if you can or a conventional loan whatever works for you okay being able to put down two percent though on your dream home is phenomenal okay if you ask me um, i remember when i was 23 and i bought my first home i did a fha loan right and it was incredible to be able to only put down 3.5 percent okay on my home um, yes i had the pmi the private mortgage insurance right which every mortgage company requires um, if you are um, putting down less than 20 percent and that's you know kind of just to, to protect them as the mortgage company whichever but to me that was great okay i was 23 i'm not you know worried about an extra you know hundred dollars or so monthly i was able to get into my you know new home and not pay rent anymore and that was great so i can just imagine you know imagine paying one percent or paying two percent okay for down on your dream home okay you know some financial gurus like dave ramsey and stuff may say it's not a good idea okay because you're still technically paying rent sure you know you are still paying rent for the beginning of the time and you may end up paying a little bit more okay than the average rent again like i said 
Um, that's something else to keep in mind, right? Because of, you know, you're paying the rent market value and you're also paying an additional amount towards savings. However, okay, sure, you'll still be paying rent, but it's like, at least you'll be living in your dream home, right? And at least some of your mortgage payment is going towards purchasing that dream home okay in three years or less okay so it's kind of like forcing you it's kind of like a way to force you to save which i think personally it's it's great okay especially for people who don't have a lot of discipline in savings this basically really helps you to save now you may be wondering okay what happens to my money if i decide not to buy this home after a year or two or three because remember you can buy this home anytime prior to three years okay um, what happens to your money is that i think i mentioned it earlier but you basically can uh, walk away decide not to buy that home and you get back a a percentage of what was in your savings and you can use that money towards a whole nother house okay so even if you choose not to buy that home from divi back okay you can use it for a whole nother property okay another thing that i wanted to mention as well is upon signing the contract right the lease contract you will get a proposal okay of what your buyback price will be let's say after 18 months um, about is what they do so you have an 18 month period and a three-year period okay three years is the max so on the proposal it will show you what your buyback price will be after 18 months and what your buyback price will be after three years okay 36 months the 36 month price point is typically going to be a little bit higher okay than the 18 months so it's like the sooner the better so for example divi bought the home for uh 300 000 cash if the home appreciates which more than likely it will um let's say after 18 months uh they may sell it back to you for 310 000 okay after 18 months after three years it may be sold to you back for 330 000 okay these are just hypothetical numbers okay but you get the picture you will know the numbers from the get-go so it's not something that you'll be surprised about after the the 18 months or after the three years you will know from the get-go before you move in before you sign the lease what your buyback price will be and this is another thing to consider right yes you may be paying more than what the mortgage would have been if you had a mortgage on a three hundred thousand dollar house right but after you buy the house back let's say after three years the payment is gonna significantly decrease, okay? So for example, let's say you were paying $2,000 or let's say $2,500, right, a month, right, with the Divi program, with the lease. After you've actually bought the home, I guarantee that you should be at least saving at least $500, okay? Why? Because you're then only focusing on the mortgage payment, right? The payment that you'll be paying monthly is really only focused on your insurance, the taxes, or P and I, I should say, principal and interest. If you did an FHA loan, your PMI, which is only a couple of hundred bucks or you know a hundred bucks or less right depending on the mortgage amount right you only be paying that so you'll go from two twenty five hundred dollars to let's say hypothetically eighteen hundred dollars okay so you'll be saving hundreds of dollars once you have bought back the property okay so it's not like you'll be paying that higher amount for the entire duration of um you know having the home once you buy the home back you'll be paying a significantly less amount monthly okay so that's another thing to consider as well okay now let's talk about what income documentation is required to be approved okay um if your salary out or hourly, um, your most recent pay stub, okay? Um, this must be within 30 days, as well as your previous um, W-2, if, if applicable, okay? If you're an independent contractor, your most recent pay stub or pay invoice, okay? Showing like the year to date, and it must be within 30 days. Also, okay, so if you don't have a pay stub or anything like that, they'll also accept three months of your most recent um, pay stub invoices or bank statements, okay, as an independent contractor. Now, if you're self-employed, they will accept three most recent months of bank statement, okay? And this is really good because unlike the traditional mortgage companies, they may require like a previous tax return or something like that, right? 
they also require proof of your business ownership, okay? And see, that is the reason why I like to stress, okay, establishing an actual business, all right? Um, again, if you have not downloaded the free guide as yet, go ahead and download the free guide. It guides you step-by-step -step of how you can establish an actual business in addition to how you can build business credit, okay? You guys, this helps you to build credibility. In addition to that, it gives you access, okay, to thousands of dollars, in, in funds, okay, credit and cash, okay? Um, so you definitely wanna consider establishing an actual business, all right? Now, this proof of business or proof of ownership can be established with a document from the secular state, a recent tax return, okay, if applicable, okay, if you have filed a tax return. Um, your business may be newer, so you may not have a tax return, right? Or just any official document, okay, that shows your name, and your business's name, okay? Um, they accept child support, alimony, SSI, or VA benefits. Um, if you have a new job within the last three months, they'll accept last pay stub from the previous job, most recent pay stub from current job as well, okay? On each document, ensure that your name or your employer name, pay dates, and amounts are clear and um, legible, okay? So that's very, very simple, you guys, comparing to the traditional route where they need a whole bunch of other, you know, documentation and, and, and things like that, right? I mean, that's great, you know, they just need really one pay stub, right? If you have, if you're a full-time employee, really, along with the W-2, so it's really simple. I mean, if you ask me, do I suggest the program? Yes, I suggest the program, honestly. You know, some financial gurus out there will say, you know, what's the point? You know, you're gonna be paying, you know, rent and whichever, but, you know, at least this is taking you so much closer towards home ownership um, versus if you were just doing a regular lease, right? Um, if you have a lot of discipline, you know, to save, again, if you have already a great credit score, you have some savings, this program may not be for you, right? This program is not for everybody, right? But it may be for some people, right? It may be for you if you are not, if your credit isn't, isn't worthy enough, right? If you're in a situation where you just need to move out, you need to be in a home right now, but you're, you know, progressively working on building your credit, right? Um, and all of that, this program may be for you, okay? Again, it also forces you to save, okay? You know, since a percentage of that, which is also a portion of market value of the home, is going towards, you know, your equity savings account, okay? Towards purchasing that home or a brand new home. Like I said, I love the mission of the CEO. I was able to listen to or watch an interview, right, where she breaks down the company, the goals of the company, their mission, how they benefit, how individuals benefit, and it really does make sense. Um, yes, Divi benefit in a sense where they benefit benefit from um, you know the equity of the home and all of that and, and when you buy it back but they're also giving you the opportunity to be in that home you know again before you're really eligible for it so um, you can do your own research okay you can go to divihomes.com I'll also link that link in the description below and also in the show notes right you can also go to YouTube and uh, there's a lot of videos out there where realtors okay have gone through this process with their clients and so you'll be able to get an idea of you know how smooth the process is because a lot of people have said that the process has been really smooth and that they haven't really had much issues I mean Divi walks them through step by step of the buying process there's nothing hidden nothing like that you know you are walked through the process um, every step of the way so it does seem as if it's a great program so uh, let me know in the comments below you guys if you have any questions or comments about the program let me know if you think that this is something that you may do you know if not if you don't think that it's something that's a good fit for you feel free to share that and feel free to share you know why okay Oh, but if you did like this video, okay, don't forget to hit that like button, all right, and that subscription button as well, and the notification bell, okay, so that way whenever I post a new video, you guys will be the first to know, okay, you don't want to miss out on those gems, all right, <laughs> but again, you guys, it's your girl, Shai Bivia. it was an absolute pleasure, let's continue to build those businesses and get financially healthy together, and I'll see you guys later, be blessed, bye-bye.